Scots traditionalists will tell you that the thistle is edible, but then again they also eat haggis. While the thistle may not look or taste that palatable, it does have a close relative that features in Mediterranean cuisine, and it's becoming something of a trendy ingredient locally. I'm referring to the rather weirdly named artichoke, which now has its very own festival near Cape Town. Here's a taste. A Mediterranean climate favours the cultivation of grapes and olives, but it would take something of an expert eye to identify the crops growing in the fields lining the road to the Fuor Pardebarak. I fell in love with artichokes in Italy, where they are readily available and revered. We ate them pickled, deep fried, in pastas, on pizzas, in spreads and dips. You name it, if it had artichoke in it, it found its way to my plate. This delicious vegetable isn't as popular in South Africa, so you can imagine my delight when I discovered that there's an entire festival dedicated to them. It's a beautiful day in Paul, and I'm so excited to discover everything that the annual Artichoke Festival has to offer. While artichokes were the stars of the show, wine and handicrafts added to the colour and fun of the occasion. Did you know that the artichoke is related to the sunflower and the root of the sunflower is actually called the Jerusalem artichoke? No prizes for guessing the key ingredient to the dishes on offer and marketing guru Feroz Jaffa had a tasting sample ready for Karishma. Well, this is a wonderful welcome. And how much you love artichokes, Karishma? I do love an artichoke. Mmm, that is delicious. Now, it's no secret that I love an artichoke, but what are your thoughts on artichokes? I love them just as much, Karishma. And when I heard there was an artichoke festival happening, I was so happy to get involved. Would you give me a tour? Yeah, sure, let's go. So it's so nice that the community is involved as well. A lot of the vendors are artisans from the area. I think there's a huge drive in building up the business sector in Fadeberg itself. Oh, you're the owner. Let me introduce you. This is Michaela and her husband, Attilio. Hello, so lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you too. Nice to meet you. Thank you for having us here today. I'll let you guys you. chat and I will catch up with you in a bit. Lovely. Can you tell me a bit about the farm and how artichokes came into play? Well, we bought the farm in 2004 and we are Italian origin, so we coming from a wine and agriculture background. So we started with a little commercial planting and we thought, you know, let's do a feast between friends. We were thinking about 50 people and then we ended up in 250 people. And we discovered that this artichoke's word is appreciated by all South Africans also. Well, thank you so much for putting together this exquisite day. Thank you. Thank you. We spotted another face familiar to Mela viewers. And it turned out that Michelle was channeling his inner foodie while selecting appetizing fresh ingredients. Hello. Fancy seeing you here. So lovely seeing you. We may work together, but we hardly ever get to see each other. One of life's greatest pleasures is getting to be a tourist in your own city. And today is one of those days, especially when there is a whole festival dedicated to these beauties. What are some of the gems that you've discovered here today? You know what? The most amazing ravioli. I have to take you. I'd love that. Let's go. You've not had anything to eat as yet. Oh. Now, smell this. How amazing is that sage flavour coming through? Mm, that smells divine. Let's indulge. I can't wait to try this. Mm, this is divine. I've bought so many artichokes and I cannot wait to experiment with different recipes. I'm thinking an artichoke, Acha. Fantastic idea. But I don't actually know how to clean it. I have actually no idea. I've never had to clean an artichoke. Pharaohs. You'll definitely be able to help us. Hey guys. Hello. Ferris, we've come for your expertise. We bought some beautiful artichokes, but neither of us know how to clean one. Well, first you want to get rid of the waxy form that forms on the outside of the plant. And then you want to get rid of all the outer peels. Once you're done with that, you trim the stem, not all the way, because the heart runs from the centre straight down the stalks. Normally the artichokes have a little pointy pin in it, so you want to get rid of that. An easy way to prepare them is to boil them in water with salted lemon for about 30 to 35 minutes. And you'll know when it's ready, when the outer peels come off like really easy. And I normally just serve that with a dip that I can whip up quickly with the ingredients in my kitchen. Some double cream yogurt with cumin, mustard seed, turmeric, 
lots of chili and some coriander. So I know Shamar has been cooking up something amazing for you guys. So would you please take this to her, Krishma? Of course I will. See you later, boys. Ciao. The Lani Rani had been busy in the farmhouse kitchen. Shamira, the aromas are divine in here. What are you up to? Karishma, the amazing team have challenged me to come up with three recipes inspired by the Indian thali using the superfood artichokes. Well, that sounds incredible and I've been sent to deliver this to you. Amazing. I see you really busy, so I'm going to go explore some more and I'll catch up with you in a little bit. See you in a while. You guys are in for a treat. So my first dish is my take on a deep-fried vegetarian kebab in a rich, decadent curry sauce. Let's go. So the star of the show of these amazing kebabs is really the artichokes. It's highly dense in fiber. It's just an amazing antioxidant. Next up, we have tofu. Alternatively, you could use paneer or maybe even ricotta, which is high in fat in the tofu. Next up, I have some protein-packed lentil flour, which is actually going to act as a binding agent. I have some garam masala, fresh coriander, flaked or dehydrated onions if you like, chilies, and a little bit of nuts. Just blend this together and make sure that your tofu or your ricotta cheese crumbles. Now it's time to start rolling these up into little balls. There you go. Pretty simple. That chickpea flour did the trick. Now, traditionally, these are deep fried, but I've got a few nifty tricks up my sleeve to show you. I have some on the go. Now, I'm not one to encourage buying a new piece of kit for the kitchen, but this nifty baby, an air fryer, has so many advantages. It uses 80% less oil and it's super energy efficient. Ah, let's see, these babies look done. And as you can see, they're golden and they're crispy. Just gonna tip these out. Right, so I promised you some amazing, decadent, rich curry to go with those koftas. Let's just check. Oh, it's looking so good. So in order to get the smooth, rich consistency in your gravy, I'd recommend blending your braised onions and your tomatoes. Right, tip number one to infuse this with flavor without the fat is to add some dried fenugreek. A little goes a long way. We just wanna mix that in. Fragrance is amazing. Tip number two to infuse maximum flavor without the fat is this. Yes, it's a piece of charcoal that I've just heated up, got a little bit of butter in it. We're gonna add the butter to the charcoal and this is gonna give that amazing kind of open fire, smoked flavor to the curry. Now moving on to the second dish. Nothing screams Indian tea time snack and finger food like chili bites and puri and butter. So now I'm going to show you my homemade chili bite mix. It's gluten-free, equal amounts of chickpea flour and pea flour. Add a little bit of salt and whatever spices you like. Store it in your pantry and it's going to save you loads of time. So I've got some gorgeous steamed artichoke hearts here, which I'm going to be adding to our chili bite mix. Make sure that our artichoke hearts are covered with this awesome homemade chili bite mix. It's a little bit different. We're covering it with flour and then we're going to move it into our egg mixture. Now you can pop these into a deep fryer or an oven or you can do what I did earlier and pop them into air fry. Golden and crispy chili bites guaranteed. So next up, I promised you puri patta. Well, at least the patta part of it. If you haven't tried this, it's basically, I would say, an Indian Swiss roll made with spinach or yam leaves infused with a chickpea kind of paste. And I've actually made some of that chickpea paste. So it's basically my chili bite mix, which have added a little bit of tamarind, green chilies, and a little bit of water to form this paste. And so I have these beautiful steamed artichokes. And what steaming does is really just loosen the leaves, which actually make a perfect place for me to stuff with my chickpea and tamarind paste. So you want to get this paste pretty deep inside here. They're looking great. You could pop these into a deep fryer or the oven. I have already have them. And these are going to pair up perfectly with that dip Farah sent in earlier. So this right here is the stuff of flatbread dreams. So what you need to do is you need to get some quinoa, some lentils, any kind will do, and some oat bran. If you soak this up in the morning, it needs about four hours or so. You need to pop it in the blender and add a little bit of salt and any spices you like just before you're ready to fry. And that makes our dosa or crepe batter if you like. This one's looking ready to flip. I would say it's a cross between a pancake or a dosa which is made with fermented rice 
and maybe even a roti because you can see how flaky and crispy it turns out. It's a perfect way to scoop up any curry. Now this one is ready to go. So that's done at our Indian inspired thali. So here we have our creamy decadent malai curry and our amazing artichoke koftas. And then our crispy and crunchy golden chili bites and my take on a stuffed pata. It has been absolutely artichokeful. <laughs> That's ready, guys! Oh, wow! Wow! That looks beautiful! I can't wait. I'm going to have one of these. I think <laughs> I'm going to try some too. Wow, you can really get that smoky aroma in the curry. It's beautiful. The highlight for me is definitely how crunchy these artichokes are. Right? Knock, knock. Who's there? Artichoke. Artichoke who? Artichokes if he eats too fast. <laughs> What a divine treat to end such a fantastic day. Absolutely. <laughs>